Willem van Eyck, was a convicted Dutch serial killer known as the Beast of Harksteed. He was convicted twice for a total of five murders. Willem van Eyck was born August 13, 1941 in the small village of Corderaar, then under the German occupation of the Netherlands. He grew up in a working-class family. His parents had a lot of kids, eight including Willem, which wasn't unusual at the time. During his time at an elementary school he was an outcast and referred to as Crazy Little Willem, something he later used to justify his outrageous actions. During this time of extreme bullying, Van Eyck started to collect morbid items, such as dead insects and dried frogs. He did not enjoy studying, and refused to do so. He soon gained notoriety in his home village for his cruelty towards animals, he would enjoy torturing dogs, drowning cats and kicking ducks until they died. When he was eight years old his brothers described him as evil personified. He had little contact at school and was an outcast. Van Eyck committed petty crimes for a living as his school career did not go well. During this time he started to dream about raping and killing women. In 1971 he picked up the 15-year-old Cora Mantle. Having missed her bus ride home after meeting with her boyfriend in Amsterdam, Van Eyck found her hitchhiking. He strangled her with her own shawl and raped her, before dumping her body in a ditch. Later on he would explain he felt regretful about his actions because she had only lived for such a short period of time, but, I finally had my chance and I took it, he said, giving more light to his intense desires and dreams to murder and rape women. Her body was found on June 22, 1971. On August 19, 1974 the lifeless body of 43-year-old Alch van der Platt was found near a road inside a cornfield. She had suffered multiple stab wounds, her stomach was ripped open, and her left nipple was cut off. Several witnesses had seen Van Eyck riding his moped on the same evening and in the same area where the body was found. The police arrested Van Eyck, and he immediately confessed to the murder of Alch, and soon thereafter to the murder of Cora. In 1975, Van Eyck was sentenced to 18 years imprisonment and involuntary hospitalization. The details of the murders, as revealed during the trial, were so astonishing to the public that several judiciary guards vomited. Psychiatric reports explained that Van Eyck had severe childhood trauma as a result of, mostly female, bullying and rejection by women. During his therapy psychiatrists speculated that his deviant behavior was the result of brain damage sustained during his birth. However, Van Eyck refused any investigations. He was combative about denying treatment out of fear of psychic disintegration. He was seen as one of the hardest patients the clinic had ever had. In 1980, while still in remand, he married his pen pal Adri. In 1990 he was released and together with Adri, moved into a house in Harksteed. Psychiatrists believed that his relationship with Adri would prevent him from re-offending, but warned that subsequent female rejections could trigger a relapse. The relationship turned out to be a downward spiral for Willem. In November 1993 in a ditch the corpse of a 23-year-old prostitute was found. It turned out to be Michelle Faddle. During sex with Faddle, Van Eyck strangled her with his bare hands. On January 21, 1995 the body of the 31-year-old prostitute Annelies Reinders was found in the Eemskanal near a pinchdom and on July 17, 2001 the lifeless, naked body of the 34-year-old prostitute Sasha Schenker was found in the Slochterdeep near Harksteed. Her clothes were found several months later near Van Eyck's house. They were found to have been thrown into the canal in a plastic bag weighted with stones. Because Schenker's clothes were found near Van Eyck's house, he became a prime suspect and on November 12, 2001, police arrested Van Eyck. He soon confessed to the murders of Michelle Faddle, Annelies Reinders, and Sasha Schenker. Between his release and his second arrest there were eight prostitutes, and several other young women murdered in and around the area of Van Eyck's residence. In 1995, the torso of 24-year-old prostitute Antoinette Bont was found. Other body parts were later found in a sports bag. Two years later, in 1997, the body of 19-year-old prostitute Shirley Herigers was found. Around the same time, 35-year-old Jolanda Meyer, Herigers' friend and colleague, also disappeared. Several other men were suspected of these killings, but all turned out to be innocent. Van Eyck never confessed to killing these women, but police suspected him. The ground around his house was excavated, however, there were no bodies found. All three cases remain unsolved. After going through a series of lawyers, Van Eyck was sentenced, on November 7, 2002, to life imprisonment for the murder of the three victims. Van Eyck appealed, 
but the Supreme Court of the Netherlands upheld the ruling. Van Eyck several times requested clemency, which in the Netherlands can only be given by the head of state, and all of the requests were denied. On June 19, 2019 Willem Van Eyck, the Beast of Harksteed, died in prison.